Hey there, we're Charlene, Chris and Holly and we've been living and travelling full time in our motorhome for almost two years now. This year we wanted to experience something different to what we used to and we decided to cross over to the UK with our home on wheels. Last week we made it to Wales. Couldn't be more happier than I am today. And immediately fell in love with this beautiful country. Join us for today's video as we continue deeper into the mountains and visit some really unique places in Snowdonia National Park. Good morning, welcome back to a new video from beautiful Snowdonia in Wales. Yes, we're still here. We checked into a campsite last night and this morning we've had a bit of an explore about and found this really beautiful lake and we've just been here like for the last hour or so, enjoying a bit of the sun. I really wanted to swim but to be honest with you it's very cold. As you can see my hair is like going with the wind yeah, so it's a bit windy. It's a bit windy and we're going to skip it, unfortunately, because it looks amazing. Yeah, very beautiful here, and I love how secluded this place is. We'll show you a bit about where we're parked up in a minute, but this morning we've just kind of hiked about 15, 20 minutes towards this lake. We're on our own, and we were able to get Holly off the lead a bit to run about, and she's really enjoying herself here. So are we, like, and wow, so we're really impressed with this place, and I have to say like this is our favourite spot so far in the UK. Just on our way back to the campsite we followed the stream a bit and found this waterfall flowing down here. We must have missed this on our way to the lake. So beautiful, <laughs> look at this. Ow! Charlene versus barbed wire, not a good match. <laughs> Such a lovely place, it looks so magical. How's your day going so far Holly? It's so windy right now and I'm so happy that we didn't swim because I think it would have been a nightmare just to walk all the way back to the campsite. Maybe next time. Who knows? I really want to swim one more time before we head north. We really love the landscape here in Snowdonia. Look at the mountains. The drive coming into this valley was absolutely stunning. We haven't seen anything like it on our trip here in the UK and we were driving through this open area. It was like we were back in the Alps. Mountains on each side, we were passing by these lakes as well. Very, very nice drive, kind of going deeper into Snowdonia National Park. Just us, the open road and a few hundred sheep. I really love it when we come to campsites now I'm doing the laundry as well and it's so cheap here it's like two pounds for one load and two pounds for the dryer it's so amazing because back in Europe I used to pay 10 euros for one load only so it's a bargain <laughs> who doesn't love clean sheets This is our campsite, £25 per night. I think this is the best location that we've stayed at in the UK because we're surrounded by mountains. Very, very nice campsite. Actually, it was very quiet here. You've got the pitches here, gravel pitches, some grass pitches up front, and then the services over here, including laundry, which Charlene is really enjoying here in the UK. Toilets and showers in there. You've got water fill up from here, chemical toilets, and then you've got like a laundry and kitchen area here as well. Now this is quite funny. This morning we came in the kitchen here and there was this guy, French guy, I know everyone makes mistakes, but he was trying to boil the electric kettle on the oven. There was smoke everywhere. See, we only stop at a campsite once or twice a week. While we're here, we try and make the most of it, which means that like, if we've got the electric hook up, we try and charge everything, get some work done. We try to get out and explore the area as well, shower, use the water and kind of do stuff that maybe when we're off grid we won't be able to do and to be honest like when we stay at a campsite it's normally for less than 24 hours like it's midday now and we need to check out so it's sometimes a bit hard to kind of do everything at once this is the only problem here campsites in the UK most of them do not have where you can empty your grey water so having to empty it like this one bowl at a time 
think this is the last one though at least. So yesterday, as we were driving through to our campsite, we actually saw this very cute village. It's called... Bed Gellert. Bed Gellert. <laughs> and this time today, we've got a bit of sun, so we thought we'd stop out and check it out a bit. We'll stop here and check it out a bit. Stop here and check it out. <laughs> and today we're in this beautiful <laughs> small village in the middle of waves. It was only just a few weeks ago when we started our trip in the UK and we were saying how densely populated England is, how much traffic there was <laughs> and people everywhere, especially like in Cornwall and everywhere along the coast really. But we're so happy now to be in Wales and it's very, very quiet here, much more quiet. I really love the fact that whatever we're doing here, we're not really packed with people. Uh, last week in Betsy, Coed or whatever that place is called. Betsicoid. Betsicoid. <laughs> In Betsicoid. That was a bit busy, but apart from that, we're pretty much on our own wherever we go. It feels like we're really in the mountains now. So where are we going now? So we're going to see Geller's grave. Basically, it was a dog hound and... I don't know the story to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go and find out. We've just been saying how lucky Holly is that She's kind of traveling everywhere and where possible, she's out and about exploring somewhere new, running in the grass or swimming. She's just a dog, but for us, she's like our little baby and we can see how happy she really is. That makes us happy. In the 13th century, the Liberland Prince of North Wales had a palace at Bed Gellert. So this story is really interesting and quite sad as well. So there was this guy called Llewellyn and he had a dog called Gellert. <laughs> Basically, one day he came back from hunting and he found a bloodstain near the dog. He instantly thought that his dog, Gellert, killed his, his son. So in a fit of rage, he killed his beloved dog. Later on that night, he actually found his baby well and alive next to the dead body of a wolf. So in fact, Gellert had actually saved his son's life and he ended up killing him. Really sad story. At least he's got a nice grave now. And I think the takeaway is don't jump to conclusions. So these sheep here in Snowdonia are living their best life. They've got such a nice area here. The lambs are just running about on top of each other, running along the river here. So cute. They're so cute jumping. Look at this one. Wow, this place is actually so dreamy. We've got the river flowing down here. It's a nice pathway, mountains on this side green grass on this side and then a bunch of small lambs running about enjoying themselves. <laughs> and they're off. Oh wolf! <laughs> they, left, they left him on his own. Oi, this way! This is a really nice village, isn't it? Lovely, lovely, lovely. <laughs> I'm in love with Wales, to be honest. I really want to, I don't know, maybe own a farm one day in ways. Who knows? I'm in love with this place. And I can see why. Imagine having a bunch of sheep like these cute ones here. Without Holly, huh? Holly needs to be somewhere else. <laughs> mm. And I forgot an important part of the story earlier. I forgot to mention that Llewellyn or if that, I don't even know how to pronounce his name, but Llewellyn never smiled again after knowing that he had killed his best friend. But on another note, look at this house here across the riverbank. Imagine living there, sleeping with the sound of the river every night wow. and waking up, looking out the window, seeing the river. I know we sometimes sleep in beautiful places with our van, but... This but is... with van life, you have to leave. That's yeah. the thing. I really can imagine myself when I'm like, very old, live the calm life and die peacefully. Pretty soon then. <laughs> we're already thinking about how we're gonna spend our time in the in our like eighties. Halfway there. Oh. Not, not, not halfway, no. Not no, halfway, no. no, no. We still have a long way to go. 
back in the days, they also built a railway from here to Port Maidok to transport coal and slate. We're back in Tenti and I'm so impressed by the amount of sheep that exist here on these lands because from up here we can see white dots, they're all sheep. <laughs> We've got a fantastic view over the lakes right now. We're just carrying along this like windy road up the hill or mountain, whatever you want to call it. We're trying to find like a spot where we can park up. I think there should be something around the next few corners. This is a lovely scenic drive. This is our park up for tonight. We are parked up beside this beautiful lake. Feels like we're on another planet. As you can hear, we've got a bit of traffic coming by, but I'm sure it will quiet down at night. Free parking here, nice lay by. I think it should do us nicely for tonight. I'm actually on my second cup of tea now and I've been sat here for about an hour. The sun is slowly setting. We've got a nice view of Mount Snowden right in front of us. This type of travel, staying in our van, even today now that I'm kind of tired and I just don't want to do anything, I'm still able to kind of stay connected with nature and it's just so relaxing to hear the birds singing and the wind gently rustling the trees outside. Obviously the occasional car does pass but Apart from that, it's just pure bliss. Good morning, everyone. As you can hear, it's very busy now because cars are passing frequently. And this morning we woke up by the sound of the cars as well. And when they pass by us, they shake the van a bit. But believe it or not, I feel like I'm in Austria or Switzerland on one of their mountain passes because this looks very similar. I honestly feel that there isn't enough hype about the UK and the mountainous areas that there are in this country. We can tell that it's not popular with other countries because we're seeing many Brits and the only van that we saw was French at the campsite. The view has kind of changed as well since yesterday and that's something which we've quickly learned here in the UK to enjoy the sun when you have it because you never know when it's coming back. But hopefully we'll have a bit of sun later on today. So we're actually gonna get going now and head towards Lamberis, which is in this direction over the mountains here. And that's another area of Snowdonia, which we haven't yet seen. We're passing through Penny Pass and it's absolutely stunning. We got amazing views. We can see plenty of slates, rivers, just so wonderful. So we've made it to Lamberis. We parked up in this large parking area just back here and we're walking into town. And our first stop is to try a Welsh breakfast. 11.30. Just in time. So for breakfast, we've got a nice sausage and egg sandwich. And this is a full Welsh breakfast, which looks very similar to an English breakfast. It looks so delicious. What's different though? A lot of bacon, I think. And That's potatoes so as yeah, well. Potatoes. Oh. Did you see that? He's <laughs> <laughs> got too many tricks. After some fun in the van, it was time to head up to our next spot for today. The second largest slate quarry in the world.
this area here in Wales is very famous for mining as it was one of their main income sources up to about 100 years ago. So you can't actually go in here, but this is the entrance to one of those mills where they used to make the slate, you know, like this kind of uh, material for roofs, I guess. In fact, this area here where we're walking through is just like one big quarry. To put it into perspective, we're now opposite where we were this morning in Lamberis. So Lamberis is just over there and there's the lake down here which we'll hopefully get a view of as we go further up. It's very windy though, very, very windy. Holy moly! <laughs> Can you feel that wind? Man, like there's a lot of gusts today, so no, it's just stopped now. Yeah. No, and, it's oh, the gust comes and gets again. you. Better not stand near the edge today. But this place is actually incredible. It's like all abandoned, this huge mine or quarry, whatever you call it. I've never seen anything like it. I feel a bit sad to be honest because many miners have died here. I can't imagine miners working here in the cold winter days. It was so hard. Some of them even woke up around 3 a.m. to get here. Most of them, they came from Anglesey and it was hard even to get here for them. I can't imagine working as well here. In these conditions, but I don't know if you can see on the camera, but this place is huge. Like we came here for the lookout but we're actually really enjoying this quarry here. It's really unique, I've never seen anything like it. When we were driving, we saw that it's big, but now that we're here, it's bloody massive. And all we can see is just laid everywhere. They also had their own hospital because many were injured, so it's a bit sad. So as we're walking through this big quarry, we're realizing how impressive this place is. It's like we're walking through an abandoned city full of slate. I don't know how much you can hear me with the wind here, but we've made it to the viewpoint and it's so beautiful. We can see Snowdon in the distance there, just behind the clouds. And we've got these two lakes, one to the left and then one to the right as well. It's absolutely mind blowing to look behind us and see this. And then just in front of us, there are these beautiful lakes. Just, woo! <laughs> there are cute goats here. And they're not really cute. They made you jump. <laughs> Oh, there's so many of them. So this forested area here is full of goats. There's about 50, 60 of them here. First one kind of made a rustling sound in the bushes and Charlene was frightened for a second. And then we saw the rest of them. They're just eating all the leaves off the trees. So we're back out for our final hike of the day. We've been quite busy today out and about, but we kind of wanted to enjoy our final day here in Snowdonia as much as we could. So initially we were thinking of keeping a day free to hike up to Snowdon, but it's quite a difficult trek. And instead we've decided to visit like a lot of different places. So we're actually leaving this place tomorrow, I think. So this is our final hike here in Snowdonia. We've driven for about 30 minutes out of that valley we were in, and we're now in this beautiful forest. And we're on this hike, which should lead us to a beautiful waterfall. It's the best walk when you walk right next to a river. The sound of it just, you know, calms me down. It's a bit steep to get to the waterfalls and I'm feeling so warm. I got this jacket, a tin one, and this jumper on me. Oh, I'm feeling so warm all of a sudden. Where's the wind? It was so windy earlier. And I thought, okay, let me get this jacket because it's going to be cold, but Unfortunately, it changed and I'm feeling so sad because I didn't get my swimwear with me. Oh, I really wanted to swim. I've been telling Chris a lot. I'm so stupid. 
There was a squirrel there where the gate is and he ran inside. As you can see behind us, there is this beautiful pathway. It's like an enchanted forest. Exactly, that leads up to the waterfall. And it's just so amazing. We're seeing so many squirrels here as well. And these beautiful trees have been here for centuries. So we've been walking about 45 minutes from the car park. Very, very nice. And we've made it to the waterfall. I can see in front of me. Woo! We also spotted a circular hut made from stones that dates back to the Bronze Age. It's a fairy tale walk with sheep. Oh, what a surprise. More sheep. The question is, do sheep know how to swim? Because if they fall in the river, I don't know if they'll be getting out. So breathtaking. <laughs> Whenever you arrive in a place, the first five minutes, you're like taking it all in, you know? Like, look at this! <laughs> wow! So we have made it to the foot of the waterfall. It's huge. What a beautiful spot. There were a few hikers that we met along the path, but there's no one here. We've got a place all to ourselves. And this is such a beautiful place here in Wales. Snowdonia has exceeded our expectations by a lot. So one thing I know for sure is that Holly loves her adventures just as much as we do. We're enjoying ourselves so much, just allowing her to explore a bit, obviously on the lead because I'm sure she'll fall in the river if we <laughs> let her on her own. Holly loves waterfalls though. She really loves them. So Charlene's feeling a bit warm. She's going to go for a dip. Yep, why not? <laughs> <laughs> I want it. <laughs> Going in. Very good. Good. Here. You didn't swim. Well, I dip myself in, but it's still cold. You do it. Why don't you do it? Huh? No, I'm not doing ah, it. I didn't say I was going to do it. Yeah, what's in? You didn't yeah. see me. Yeah, you just put your feet in. So you tell me, guys, was that a swim or not? For me, it was just getting your feet wet. I know I'm not going in today, but... You never go in. Yeah, I'll swim in August. Well done, babe. You're very courageous. I'm not getting in. Maybe I'll do a bit of swimming in Scotland. Okay. We'll see. Last now, guys. Do you love swimming as much as Charlene and Holly? Or do you prefer, like me, just sitting here by the river and enjoying it? <laughs> I don't have a towel now as well. That's the problem. So I'm drying like this. But I'm not feeling cold, really. It's okay. Go. You got a swim at last. What a wonderful day. I can't complain that I'm feeling a bit exhausted, you know, because it was amazing. I truly think that this is the most beautiful and diverse areas in the UK. There's so many things to do and see. So I feel blessed that we made it here as well. So I've cooked carrot and potato soup quickly, quickly. And it's so delicious. Snowdonia is not too far from the coast of Wales and within like 15 minutes we're along the promenade. 
We stopped off to see a few places, but they had like no overnight parking signs. Now we've found this spot here, which looks okay. There's another van next to us and a few cars. But what an absolute beauty of a sunset we've got today. It's so calming. You like it? Mm -hmm. I came out to watch the last bit of sunset. That thing you see right over there. We're not going unfortunately because now we're heading north. Absolutely amazing. We had a wonderful time in Wales. So good. Yeah? Absolutely stunning this place is. Yes. We're gonna be back for sure. Oh, definitely, sure. definitely. Thank you for watching our adventures. Hit the like button, don't forget, and subscribe for more. Bye-bye. See you.